<laughs> a very good morning to you, Derek. Welcome to the program one on one right here on Classic 263. Thank you very much, Tofazo. Uh, thank you to all the listeners listening out there mm -hmm. to, to leave a legacy, mm -hmm. um, to leave a, an, an impact because everybody uses the tools that, that are God given to them to have an impact or a legacy um, on the nation, on the world at large, and also with, with, within their community. Mm -hmm. um, and for people also to be able to listen to music, people are going through a lot mm -hmm. in life nowadays. So I don't really focus on serious themes in a serious way. Mm -hmm. I take a very serious theme. I put a bit of humor into it, uh, a bit of euphemism, mm -hmm. alliteration here and there. And then we come up with a song in the style of, uh, of Derek Mpofo. Mm -hmm. um, second, I'm also a, a proud uh, cultural African. I love my totem, Tisona Mofu. Oh, oh, very proud um, of my brothers and sisters, Anachi Ira, uh, out there. So you've also seen recently on, on, on social media, I've been rebranding slowly from just Derek Mpofu mm -hmm. to Yemu Kono. Mm -hmm. Because Derek Mpofu is a, is a person, but Yemu Kono is an outer ego uh, that is related to something that I am, which is a, 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 a Mofu or, or Shara. So it allows me to express myself a bit more mm -hmm. by taking into account cultural perspectives, um, taking into account the environment. You know, our totems were given, we were given them so that we could also take care of our bio biodiversity. Mm -hmm. So there's also respect for the animals in the world. You also have issue here, women empowerment, where the first purveyors of uh, women empowerment because on Achira, it is said <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. why they say she's the corner yeah okay so tunga uh -huh. where women are being empowered and there's a whole uh, feminist movement mm -hmm. nowadays mm -hmm. which seeks to say they're empowering women but i'm telling you that centuries ago mm -hmm. a certain totem called the Laira or the Mofu started mm -hmm. off. Yeah, we started off with that. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Exactly. Uh, Derek, there are a number of initiatives that you have pioneered related to environment, conservation issues that include the Green Concert and also the annual environment and health awareness campaign that focuses on change of uh, social behavior among Zimbabweans through mm -hmm. music. Yeah. So maybe just take us through some of your initiatives in your endeavor just to advocate for environmental awareness campaigns through music. Okay, on, um, on the musical side, I did the first full environmental album in 20, 2013. It was called Mr. Green Ambassador, sir. Yeah. Um, after my appointment as uh, the Green Ambassador. Mm -hmm. um, that was my sort of way of giving back to the community uh, in terms of awareness, mm -hmm. teaching people on a lot of issues. Then, environmental issues were not really a big issue. We did not have the monthly First Friday cleanup that uh, the President leads mm -hmm. now. We did not have uh, the conscious to be able to deal with litter issues as a community. Everything was sit of Harare, this, sit of whatever this, they are not collecting bins, mm. but there was no active, um, you know, um, sort of aim or active um, um, direct direction by the community at large to sort of want to, to, to what can we do as a community yeah. type of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I, because then the music was there, there was a demand to perform the music. So we came up with a green concert. Mm -hmm. We did about uh, four of them to date. We've had Zahara, the late Zahara. We had uh, we had Ringo, we had <coughs> PJ Powers. We had a lot of artists, Kunle Ayo, and all of them coming in to, to just perform over the years mm -hmm. in support of the cause. So it took off from a national cause to a regional one. Mm -hmm. We then had partners doing different issues of course then the travel came as well so i've had to go to on different different platforms all over the world talking about environmental issues we've been to the who we've been to the un general assembly uh, a lot of other issues and with the environment comes in health so we went to russia as well to moscow wow. to speak now about tb tb mm -hmm. and the environment so in 2017 we were there mm -hmm. uh, but i've also written a book uh, for kids it's called little green ambassadors uh, which speaks to a di totally different demographic from you and me. It's got uh, necessary rhymes um, within it. It was translated to four different languages. 
English Shona uh, and Debele uh, and and Tuonga. All right, that's a beautiful track there, uh, a Derek a track that you featured, um, Ja Preza, a track titled Pisa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we we were literally talking about uh, a lot of loads, you know, or a lot of dead weight that we carry around from past experiences. When somebody's getting into a new relationship, they carry a lot of dead weight. Mm -hmm. When uh, someone is going to to a new job, they carry them the experiences of the past, you know. So what we're talking about is simply to tell people to take that off, take it off, you know, mm -hmm. and just be yourself. Yeah. Forgive those who have wronged you in the past. Mm -hmm. Let go of past traumas, mm -hmm. you know. It's mm -hmm. sort of like a song that advocates for internal healing before it starts to reflect on the outside. Mm -hmm. Well, you use uh, creative concepts and as well as the media to reach out to people on uh, environment and health issues. Mm -hmm. How do you incorporate the environmental themes and messages into your music? Well, when 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 we started off doing uh, environmental um, music, uh, I would say myself, Pax Gomo, um, and a few other artists, um, it, it was unheard of to sing a song on Mara or so on Westlands <laughs> and, 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 and what not. And I think that worked to advan to our advantage. Uh, because of course now it's it's become commonplace for for artists to, to do such things. Mm -hmm. Even when we did songs on on health, on menstrual health. I, I remember we, we we did the f one of the first ever songs <coughs> on, on menstruation and and hygiene with uh, with Tammy Moyo. You know, when people at first listened to it, they, they were sort of like, you know, an uncomfortable reaction because it's not what people normally uh, talk about within uh, the confines of, of, of society. So I think that shock effect um, played to our advantage because then people really sat down to listen to the message. What are these people actually saying when it comes to this? What are these people actually saying when it comes to music? So it created dem a, a, a demand uh, to appear on public platforms to talk about the music. Then the media came in. Social media as well has grown over the years. Um, how do you balance your music career with your activism and advocacy work as well? Uh, it's, it's been difficult as the portfolio has grown. It's been very difficult. Um, and then when you think it's very difficult, in comes the uh, the traveling as well. Um, you also have to to then do the live shows, and then there's also then a bit of you know when you the music industry is not a it's, it's not a high paying uh, industry per se. Okay. So you also have to have side hustles right. on the side. Okay. So you also then bring in the side hustles, and you you know you you're trying to make ends meet. So it's difficult. So ultimately. One side uh, suffers, and I would say on my side is the live shows have, have suffered. suffered yeah. I haven't yeah. I haven't done live shows in, in, in a while. quite a while. Mm -hmm. I've attended live gigs by other artists. I've been I've been called on stage to perform with them, but yeah. I haven't really done any show that I have headlined as as as, as Derek Mpo. Okay. So you you try to make it balanced, but also the fans are not happy when that happens because <laughs> then they're like, "Oh, take it out, I'll skip on my shows and." And whatnot, but I, but by, by saying this, I'm trying to make them understand that outside of of the music, if if you want to survive, you open this side hustle that is not related to music on the side. You do this, you are also demanded in country X yeah. to yeah. come and do A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. So it then becomes difficult, and to a certain extent, it even affects, uh, you know, recordings. Mm -hmm. um, so to maintain the the inspiration, at times I just go out, I take a walk. Because at times, if you're driving as well, you'll never be able to write song when you're now living in a, in a life of comfort. Mm -hmm. So you need to walk, you need to get onto a combi, hear the latest uh, street lingo. You need also to be up on social media, interacting with people, mm -hmm. you know, getting a bit of feedback, be positive or, or negative, mm -hmm. just to sort of have a pulse of what is going on um, out there. So it's, it's difficult to balance. Uh, to answer your question, it, it is. It's very difficult. Okay. Yeah. Right. But you have, you have been so fortunate enough to travel around the world 
um, be it hustling, whatever it is that you're doing, um, how, how is that for you? Because many artists, they always, when, when, we come, when they come through, we talk about that. And they're like, no, we're not so fortunate, like the likes of Anna Derek or Anna Monum, who they are going up and so forth. So I was thinking to a family. Maybe you can explain a bit about that. Um, I, I think if you align your, your vision with a practical um, business sense, in the music there are two sides. I think one always talks about it. There is the, the, the branding side, the marketing side, the pushing of the music, okay. and then there's a business side. So the branding side has to be 10% 10, 10 of, of what you do, like the actual creation of the music the choice of the music that you're doing. Mm -hmm. And then the business side is aligning your music with what is going to make you money. Right. Yeah. For some artists, it's, uh, you know, you, you find them, you print them on t-shirts, mm -hmm. for some artists, they take up a cause. You see, one decides I'm going to work with NGOs. Yeah. One decides I'm going to be a brand ambassador for mm -hmm. corporate. So whatever they're doing has to, has to align with that. Right. What I've al al aligned with is the, the, the development world okay. where I, you know, get into the rural areas. I talk about biodiversity. I talk about uh, gender-based violence. You talk about um, current issues to do with uh, equality in the workplaces. So the moment you do that, those who are desirous of that service are then able to come and say, we want you, say, it, it, it doesn't really start in Switzerland. It starts, we want you in Mutora Shanga. Yeah. We want you to, to, to talk to community leaders. Mm -hmm. We want you in 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 Blawayo, because mm -hmm. I speak Ndebele, mm -hmm. we want you to speak to these people in their language. Sure. And then the next thing is, we want you in Namibia, um, the embassy of Zimbabwe wants to host you to talk to expats who are staying there. Mm -hmm. And then you know it develops from there. Now we want you in in uh, in East Africa. Then the next thing you are there in in, in Europe. So yeah. I think it's about it, it's really about planning how you want the trajectory of your career. To go um and the certain places you want to go mm -hmm. and who is going to be able to fulfill that mm -hmm. at times your passion is then chased by uh, the people who are able to make it happen but from different areas of the world mm -hmm. all right uh, we close off with uh, the track that you did with uh, albert nyati and uh, you owe me the track titled my daughter ah, yes. maybe just uh, tell us uh, this one is based from behind. albert's albert's famous famous poem my daughter oh, yeah. so we turned the song my daughter into into a song mm -hmm. together with uh, with daniel lobia from 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 switzerland okay. 